GBMP proudly presents their next installment to the Lean Video Series, entitled Pulling Together, an Introduction to Pull Systems and Kanban. Pushing material and information through processes results in lots of problems and non-value added activities. Anything look familiar? It's called a push system. Material continues to arrive even though you have plenty. Does this occur in your company? Do you have shortages of some items and overstock on others? Do departments of machines operate at different rates and get out of sync with one another? Do you see large queues of material or information in front of every department? This is how most unimproved companies operate. It's feast or famine. Too much work, then not enough work. No parts, then too many parts. How does this help the customer? How does this make employees feel? In this video, we'll demonstrate pull systems as countermeasures to these kinds of problems. The term Kanban is often used as a generic term meaning pull system. Kanban and pull are used together, but they are different things. Kanban is a Japanese word meaning sign or signboard. It is the physical signal used within a pull system. Examples of Kanban include a card, an empty bin, or an empty spot on the floor or a shelf. Kanban signals accommodate that direct connection between the customer and the supplier. The best Kanban signals allow this direct connection and are an integral part of the process. They are built into the process. A pull system defines how the Kanban signal is used within an operation and between operations. Pull is the method by which we make value flow to the customer in a lean system. Pull means that unless the downstream customer asks for it, the upstream process does not produce it. Kanban and pull systems were derived from the American supermarket. For example, think about the dairy aisle at the supermarket. What do you see there? Gravity feed racks holding a certain amount of milk, cream, and juice. We as customers take what we need. The person on the other side of that rack replenishes according to what we actually took. If we're having company this weekend and we take a lot of product, the supplier replenishes a lot. If we're away and we take none, the supplier replenishes none. Simple but powerful because it links the supplier directly with the customer. Replenishment based on actual customer demand, not a plan or a schedule or forecast. This system also guarantees that the supermarket resources, in this case the stock clerk, that his time is being used correctly. Think about it. If you could develop a system that guaranteed your resources, that is your people, your machines, your material and space, would always be used correctly, would you see value in that system? This is one of the main benefits of Kanban.